Yeah, I am currently in Perugia, which is in uh, the Umbria region of Italy. I'm here with my pro team, my family's here with me. I am sitting in the office of our house. That's awesome. That's pretty next level for anyone joining to have an office in your house given to you by your yeah. club. Yeah, we, when we first got here, we, we had a pretty sick apartment. Really nice to just redid it, but it was in the, the center or near the center of Perugia. In Perugia, the cities in Umbria are much different from other cities in uh, different regions in Italy where there's, it's really hard to get to the center of the city here because it's up on top of a hill and uh, oh interesting so yeah so it was it was a cool setup if if i didn't have a little kid but we have a toddler that needs to go outside and, and do stuff so that's so really, interesting and a lot yeah, of the a little bit. Found, found a pretty cool house that has a big open area where he can play outside and, and we're, we're relatively that's close to some parks so that's, that's that. so nice as you kind of continue as a career, obviously, as you get older, you have a family. And then as you get more prominent, you you can make more demands when it comes to with the club. So when you as, as you got older, what are some more things you're like, okay, I realize that I have some leverage here with my skill level going up mm -hmm. and my value going up. It's like maybe like, a, like okay, I want a house like that like nah, or like at this point or, or as you kind of got older, what did you kind of uh, – I mean that you're allowed to publicly share. What did you kind of like prioritize and ask for when it came to the club searching? Yeah, for sure. Um, well, creature comforts, like you said. So now with a family, we, we need more than a one bedroom apartment, you know? Yeah. So um, we usually, I always had at least two. Uh, my first year in Italy, I only had a one bedroom because um, I was in the south of Italy and I really had no idea what to ask for at that point in time. Um, but two bedrooms, that has now progressed to at least three bedrooms because one for us, me and my wife, one for our son. And then if we ever have visitors, we want them to be able to stay with us and not have to go to a hotel. Um, now we get two cars, uh, one for me to go to and from training and one for my family so that they can do stuff, and not be stuck in a house. Um, I early on did business class flights uh, for, for me and then anytime um, as I got married, as we had a kid, um, just adding one more of those onto the, the contract. Um, but yeah, there, I mean, I'm sponsored by Nike, so I have to put into my contract uh, my shoes, excuse me, um, so that I can wear them on the court because a lot of teams, even, I mean, the bigger clubs have sponsors and their sponsors, if a prominent player is not wearing the shoes, they want to know why. Um, mm -hmm. And to basically get rid of all of that confusion or issues, I put it in my contracts and basically says it's like, it's not just solely my shoes, but it's if, if I carry an individual endorsement deal with some company, it doesn't conflict with the clubs and that's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah.